Uh, my name is Gary Griffin. I'll be directing Angels in America, Kansas City Rep, next season. I think no, no play in my lifetime has been more important than Angels in America. I'm, you know, I'm in my early 50s, so I lived through this time, and I knew what it was for there to be a world where there was no HIV. And then I saw it arrive, and I saw a lot of people die, and I have really begun to see this as a war play. I think this is about the civil war of my lifetime in my country. It plays a classic now, and it's, it, it, it talks about another time, but I think it's extremely relevant and will always probably sadly be relevant. I saw Angels of America in, when in the original Broadway production directed by George, George C. Wolfe, and I believe it was 1993. And uh, I had read about the play, heard about the play for years. So I was, I went into the theater jazzed. It was like the old days when they used to go to musicals and they'd already heard all the songs on the radio. Uh, I, I was ready to take in this play and it was beyond what I was ready to take in. And I, and I remember thinking that day, um, I will hopefully get to do this play someday. Kansas City Rep is a, is a very special place to me for a lot of reasons. One, I'm Missourian. I was born in St. Louis. But it's also uh, the people here, beginning with Eric Rosen, who's a friend and colleague of many years when I met in Chicago. Theaters are really, they're the, they're the people who stand behind the titles. They're not buildings. And this, the people who stand behind the title of this building are the people who I'm willing to go and take the risk and, and tell the story with. And the community who support uh, this kind of theater. We're going to ask a lot of you to take in all that time. There's so much stimuli in this play. It's exhausting, I'm sure, overall. But my promise back is if you will take, make that investment, you're going to be rewarded and you will never forget it.